Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a very quick review on the Peak Design Capture Camera Clip version 3. First up, the design. It's an all metal, all black affair, although I think it does come in silver, but I got the black one. On the packaging, it says it's designed to fit a three inch strap. My camera bag is a two and a half inch, quite padded strap. I gotta say, it's pretty snug fit, but fit it does. If you've got a three inch strap, I think you may struggle. It might, it might take a bit of beating, but you, you might be able to get it in there. It does have some really sort of like long screws, so you really shouldn't have a problem getting it on some quite padded things. It's mainly the, the width. I think version three is quite a bit smaller than the version one or two, so if you've got quite a big strap, you might want to consider maybe the previous versions. My concern before I bought it was that like the edges when it was on my strap, it might kind of dig into my chest or my shoulder when, I don't know, just because of where it's located. But luckily it was fine. It fits perfectly and I don't know, it's, it's just something, the way it fits. I keep doing this as if it's on my shoulder, but it's not, but it would be if I was wearing it on my backpack. And because of where it is in the size and it really doesn't dig in, or at least hasn't yet, maybe on a bigger walk or something it might start digging in, or if you've got like a bigger camera that's put more pressure, but other than that, seems to fit really comfortably. When you lock it onto the strap, with the thumb screws, it does feel really snug and secure. On the back of the actual plate where it connects to your strap, it's kind of got this groove, rubbery bit texture to it, which really I think does aid in gripping, because when it's sort of like clamped down onto your strap, it kind of occupies the, the grooves in the back, I don't know. They claim it can hold over 200 pounds on 90 kilos. I have not put that to the test, nor do I plan on putting it to the test, but given how sort of like strong it seems, I think you probably find that the bag's probably gonna break before the actual clip starts sliding or comes off. So I've got it paired up with an A6500 and the Sigma 18 to 35 and it doesn't break a sweat. When you first open the packaging, it comes with the thumb screws attached. It looks secure enough. It feels like I can put enough torque on the thumb screws that it's gonna stay put. But as an alternative, it does come with some like permanent hex screws that you can really wrench it on. And I'm assuming you need to use those in order to get the claimed 300 pound capacity weight limit or whatever. You might need to tighten the thumb screws every once in a while, but that's not really a problem particularly because then you can take it off and put it on another bag without having to find a damp hex screw. Hex screw? Hex. Allen hex key, Allen key, hex wrench. What do you guys call them? Let us know in the comments down below. In order to clip the camera to the clip itself, it comes with a corresponding plate that's compatible with archetype tripod mounts. It latches into the clip really easily and has a locking pin to ensure you don't accidentally release your camera and help secure it from thieves, that sort of stuff. My biggest complaint here will be the slight rattle when you're attaching lighter cameras. Larger cameras with more weight might help reduce movement and be less irritating, but I've got to say that the, the rattling can be quite annoying. And if you're on a long, long walk, I don't know how long it'll take before you break. The plate itself has an elongated mounting point, giving you a small degree of flexibility on where it sits on the camera. I can't really say why they did this, but for me, it does do a really good job of helping stopping the plate getting in the way of the tilty screen on my camera. My biggest issue with the entire setup at the moment has got to be the plate. Why or oh why did Peak Design insist on requiring the use of a hex tool to attach and detach it? With every other plate I've used, it's either had sort of like just a coin operated sort of, I don't know what you call it, attachment point, or even one that you can turn, it's got like a little U-ring or something you can turn and tighten it with your thumbs, I, I just don't get it. Ultimately what it means is you're gonna have to carry a hex tool around in your pocket if you're gonna wanna be taking the base plate off while you're out and about. So there we have it, my quick review for the Capture Camera Clip version three by Peak Design. If you want quick access to your camera while you're out and about and you don't want a camera strap rubbing against your neck, I definitely recommend it. If you're interested in picking up one for yourself, there's a link in the description box below. If you do end up buying via the link in the description, it won't cost you any more, but it will help support this channel. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell icon to be notified when I next upload a video. Hopefully it'll be within the next week, but you never know, life gets in the way. Anyway, that is it. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.